Craig, thank you for the update. A warning tonight for anyone who takes dietary supplements. A new study finds that taking too many vitamins and minerals can lead to some serious health problems. Lynn Falsetti reports on these dangerous results. I take a multivitamin, I take milk thistle, uh, cinnamon. I take different kinds of supplements. Um, on a daily basis. Millions of Americans take over-the-counter vitamins and minerals every day in hopes that it will boost their health. But now, new research shows they may do the opposite when it comes to preventing deadly diseases. The American Association for Cancer Research conducted a study dating back 20 years. What it found was alarming. Any vitamin that you take uh, without knowing what your requirements are, what your nutritional uh, intake is, can be uh, a problem. Researchers from the University of Colorado Cancer Center found supplementing your diet with vitamins and minerals is unlikely to decrease the risk of developing cancer. And in some cases can even increase it if you don't follow the recommended amount. Many people take beta carotene to help improve vision and boost immunity. But according to this study, if it's taken in excess, it can also increase the risk of lung cancer and heart disease by 20%. The study also found that men who take an excess of vitamin E were at a greater risk for developing prostate cancer. Taking vitamin E just randomly without knowing how much and what you need can be a problem. A local pharmacist and doctor tells CBS 6 that this study should serve as a reminder that you don't need to cut supplements out of your diet completely. Just follow the recommended dosage and that the best nutrition comes from healthy foods, not a pill. Maybe certainly for someone that has been thinking a little more of this, one would not do them any harm. They might suddenly um, hold back and follow the guidelines on the bottle. Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News. This study looked at over three, 300,000 patients who were given either a supplement or a placebo over a 10-year period.